the Craze Spartan. What's up everybody, Craze Spartan here, back again with another crazed gameplay, and today we're playing some Halo 3, you might know this map, it's called Chill Out. Actually, it was probably one of my favorite maps, it had a lot of really cool little uh, uh, alternatives, I, I would say. I think I remember playing Sword and Punch Out, and, and a whole bunch of different game types on this map. Uh, besides just regular old Slayer, of course. And Oddball played really well on this map, too, I thought. Um, but, yeah, really good map. Really enjoyed it. And it's had probably a, a remake in just about every game, I think, except for Halo 2. Uh, Anniversary, I think, even has a remake. Um, not an official remake, but uh, probably a... a uh, you know, a Forge remake. Because Halo 2 Anniversary's Forge was amazing. But of course, Halo 5 just blew it away, and I would really, really love to see uh, the controls for Halo 5 uh, to go into uh, the Halo 2 Anniversary uh, uh, Forge, because man, I really, really enjoy uh, that new setup, and it's really hard to go back. I tried. I tried to go back and go and create another Forge map. Uh, in Halo 2 Anniversary, and just the controls are so foreign foreign to me now. It's like uh, it's inverted and tripled in what used to be almost um, just muscle memory at one point, but nope, not anymore. As you can see, I am playing with Apocalypse, and really good uh, gamer, uh, really intense gamer, absolutely. I uh, love playing with him, and of course, Rapscallion, you can see him poking his head there. Uh, a lot of fun, of course, I love playing with these guys. Don't get to do it quite so often as I would like, because, you know, how work is, work, and uh, of course, everybody's got stuff going on in their lives as well. And, uh, but really, really enjoy playing with those guys. However, I do want to talk about a little bit of something. Hello. Hello. Boy, that was the double melee is real, people. The double melee. It's real. <laughs> but anyways, I did want to talk about the HCS update that's coming to Halo 5 uh, for the tournaments and stuff like that. Guess what they are doing? And there is a link down below that you can check out and read the full article yourself. But what they are doing actually is really interesting is that they are removing Ground Pound and Spartan Charge. How awesome is that? I have had a headache with Spartan Charge ever since the beginning. Uh, I believe it absolutely should be nerfed and at least, at least needs to be nerfed at some point um, in some way. I would think either by if you spartan charge it takes you longer to raise your weapon back up because uh, i don't know how many times i get spartan charge and then, hello <laughs> i get spartan charge and then ar to death uh which isn't a really cool or really fun thing and it's kind of kind of be lonely because the radar is so short you can't even see them coming half the time uh, or especially if you're in a battle of any kind it's like you got no chance no chance after the Spartan Charge. Hello, Killjoy. One of my favorite medals. But I would absolutely love, and I'm just throwing this out there, guys. Uh, what would you like to see? I would like to see Spartan Charge removed completely from every single ranked playlist. Just remove it. If it's ranked, I would say get rid of it. If it's social, eh, you know... Uh, you could keep it, I guess. But for me, I think every ranked at least should have that removed. Because I think it would just be a lot more fun uh, to play Halo 5. I'll stop saying and cursing under my breath <laughs> every time I get Spartan Charge. Uh, and, and just get uh, beaten that way. Because that is just so frustrating. I can understand if I get out BR'd or out pistoled or whatever else. And... Uh, that's that's something that that's just skill versus skill but Spartan charge not so much skill it's just more or less frustrating and it's kind of kind of ridiculous in my opinion and I really hope I'm really hoping that uh, they get rid of that in Halo 6 uh, speaking of Halo 6 uh, we don't know much about Halo 6 there's of course articles and stuff going around from GameSpot or whatever else was what we know so far. Well, we kind of know a whole lot of nothing. Uh, we know it's being made, and that's about it. And look at that nice little triple. Uh, and that's about all they have, and that's that's all we have right now. 
But honestly, I would love to see uh, something for E3, which is actually less than a month away. That's, that's cra or is it almost exactly a month away right now? It's coming, guys. And I believe we're going to see something. Uh, Call of Duty is actually... Uh, oops, sorry. I needed to record that. I must record that now and share it with everybody. But <laughs> E3 is coming. I, I'm really excited about that. I, I'm, I think you guys are too. Seeing what's coming on for Halo 5. Halo, I'm sorry, Halo 6. Get some news. And I'm thinking we're going to see some news actually for MCC uh, as well at E3. What? I don't know. I'm still kind of hoping that they're going to say, hey, uh, we're going to bring Halo Reach. Uh, and we're going to be adding Halo Reach to MCC. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm kind of hoping because I think we really need something. Because I don't see that... I'm sorry, fella. Sorry, Raps. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to last another year without anything new for Halo. Uh, so we're going to see what happens. E3 is coming, and I'm excited. I can't wait to see what we got. A whole bunch of other stuff is coming at E3. I'm kind of looking forward to, and I, I can't wait to see what we got. Well, thanks, guys, for watching. This is Crazed. Uh Comment, like, and subscribe.